BT Sport with Mike Perry backstage at the media day. Uh, before I ask you about the event this weekend, Mike, I want to ask you about your own situation. Last, last time we saw an image of Cowboy Cerrone had his arm in plaster. Is November the 10th, is it still happening? Yeah, I believe so. I think he was just pulling y'all's leg. I don't think anything's wrong with him. I think he wanted an excuse for when I whoop his ass. People are going to say, oh, it wasn't the best cowboy. No, I think we're getting the best cowboy. I think he's training his ass off. And that's why he's playing the game. He's putting little pranks out there. Both you guys are getting set up in Albuquerque. I know you're settled in Albuquerque now, or at least you're based there temporarily. Um, is that going to, you guys going to cross paths, Jordan, this camp? No, I think he's training in Denver. Yeah, he's got a uh, he's got a different camp. Uh, I don't know if Greg Jackson is going to be in his corner. Um, it doesn't matter. I haven't really been working with Greg Jackson. That doesn't matter. Uh, I got great jujitsu. All those skills are there. Um, I got great MMA knowledge of of what I want to do in the octagon now. And um, I mean, I've grown so much even since the last fight against Paul Felder. I've gotten so much more knowledge about myself. It's making me extremely dangerous. And um, I, I'm knowing how to play the game a little better, how to use that 15 minutes a little better in my favor, when to stall, and uh, and how to stall without making it boring. And um, you know, these are all big, big uh, growths in my in my own mind and, and fighting style. So, you know, uh, we're both training at elevation. He is where he is. I haven't seen him. Doesn't matter. I'm working the repetition with the mitts. It's going to be what it's going to be. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to punch him in the face multiple times until he can't take it anymore. It sounds like we're getting the evolution of Mike Perry, the professional athletes. What, what what could that hold out for us fans? I'm hoping so. I need to get my together and eat better, take care of my money better. That would be a great professional attribute to add to myself. I need to take care of that money. But if I just keep winning, winning these fights, if they keep giving me these fights as fast as they're doing it, so I think I sh my bank account should be all right. Talking about money, obviously Connor's back in town this weekend. Are you a fan? Hell yeah, I'm a fan of Connor, man. I'm trying to take notes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of Cowboy, too. You know, so don't get it twisted. I'll fight anybody. Do you fancy yourself a whiskey brand maybe down the line? Tequila brand maybe? <laughs> Platinum whiskey. Watch <laughs> out, Connor. No, I need to try some of that proper 12, man. I, ain't had, I need a good shot. It's $12 a shot, so. Well, yeah. I should have took a shot before I came here to talk to y'all. It made him funny as hell on on the uh, stage against Khabib. That was hilarious. How do you think the fight's going to play out on Saturday? I think it's going to play out in Connor's favor. I think he's going to hit him. I think he's going to hurt him every time he hits him. I think he's going to hit him more and more until Khabib just can't take it. He's tough, but I think, uh, you know, 26-0, and 0, but... I don't know a lot of the people he's fought, and uh, I do know that the fights I have seen of Khabib, he walks in, his, his ability to close the gap is awful, and Connor is going to strike on that, and he's going to capitalize on it. Do you think um, two years out of the octagon is going to affect Connor in any way? I think it's making him hungry. I think he's... Uh, he really wants this, and that's a very dangerous thing. He's going to be hard to stop in there. Uh, and all the money he's got, I know he's taking care of his body. I can tell by the way his physique looks, the way he's doing his diet. He's He leveled up with the Mayweather camp, uh, He and he's going to take MMA to the next level. You know what I mean? So he had to go to boxing to get $100 million. Uh, UFC, MMA needs someone and that's him who can bring that type of money our way or who knows you know what i'm saying next year the year after that i'm gonna have to fight canelo so i can get me 50 to 100 million dollars i'm trying to get that money too